Today is Sunday, July 31st, 2022. It is also day 174 of Blender. And today I'm just going to do another um, array curve modifier practice because I need practice. Okay, so I'm going to delete the cube, shift A, um, and then I'll add a uh, circle. And then I'll go into edit mode by pressing on tab. And then the vertices should all be selected, but just in case they aren't, you could just hover over them and select them all. Or you can do, uh, make sure you're in vertices select and just alt and then select one of the vertices. Okay. And then I'm going to do E to extrude, S to scale, and then zero at the same time without exiting out of anything. And then exit out by clicking. And then M to merge at center. And then if I go into weight paint mode, I can see that it's like all the same weight. But if I go back into edit mode and I select all the vertices again, and I just go to object data properties, and as I'm selecting the vertices, I click on this um, addition sign, and then I assign that weight to them. I go back to weight paint, and now I can see that the vertices right that I selected have a bigger weight than the inner edges or vertices. All right, and so now in object mode, if I go into um, object properties, I scroll down and I have my differential growth add-on that I downloaded on day, let me see, 167. So the link to that is there. Um, it's also, I think it's also on the one, I think it, I just duplicate the template, so the link to, every time I do this, I think I have the link to the add-on to download there. Um, but the video, when I download it, it was day 167. Okay, anyway, I just kind of scroll down and then I go to the growth, the diff growth step, and I just do this. So basically this is kind of like a flower or like a pom-pom object that I'm going to be having on like it's going to be like attached to a string right and like in real life I've seen that like people just use it as decorations you know to have them like in front of their stores etc and so that's kind of the goal all right so now we have the shape kind of that we want right so I'm just going to do control s to save this real quick um what's today's date 7 31 22 um, and I'll save Blender file, and then I'll go to Material Preview. And after I go to Material Preview, I'll just go over here to the dartboard icon, which is Material Properties, and click on New, and then wait for that to pop up. Alright, and then go to Base Color, um, and then go to Hex, but before that, let me just pick a color I have over here. So this one is FFEE88. I'm just going to pick that color and go to base color hex and then paste that in there because it's a hex code color. And then I have my object, right? And so now I'm just going to um, shift A, go to curve and add a bezier curve, S um, to scale that. And then what I'll do is I'll go into edit mode and I'll click on this like um, move button. And then I like to go to front view by pressing the button under the escape key and hovering over front. And then I like selecting the leftmost vertice, pressing X and then deleting that. And then I go here to the vertice that I see and all I do is just extrude. Oops, wrong way. Um, so I kind of extrude kind of like this and then I extrude the same way kind of like this also, but it's looking a little weird. Let me do control Z again. Let's see if I could just go here. Why is it so weird? Hold on, front view. Extruding, whoops, control Z, control Z. All right, extrude, okay, like that, and then extrude. Why is this so weird? Escape, extrude, something like that. Is it two curves? Why is it like that? Let me do control Z again. Whoops. Let me just delete everything. Okay, shift A, curve is your curve, S to scale that, front view, right? And then edit mode, delete the leftmost curve, and then extrude this way, and then extrude that way. I don't know why it was work it was not working when I first did it. Okay, so it's kind of like this shape, right? And then what I'll do is I'll do control A and I'll scale that. And then um, I'll actually select these both and just scale them a little bit down because I can see that they're way too big. And then I'll do control A and apply the scale to each individual object. So control A, apply scale, control A, apply scale. All right. And then here is the part where it's a little tricky. Um, sometimes I even forget myself. So for each object, I have to go to object, set origin to center mass volume, 
um, and then for the curve object set origin to center mass volume and then I believe set origin geometry to origin see that doesn't even make sense why is the origin all the way at the top right I'm just geometry to origin right and then this um, I do shift s and then I believe it's selection to cursor maybe set origin geometry origin to geometry hold on so shift s cursor to selected and then grab the curve and then object set origin to nope 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 shift s selection to cursor okay that's good i think um yeah so i made the cursor go to the object and then the object is going to the cursor okay so i believe that's going to work so i'm selecting the flower go to modifier add modifier array to multiply the flower or the pom-pom i don't even know what it is at this point um i'm changing the fit fit type to fit curve and then i just use a dropper and select the curve and now it's basically the length of or the amount of flowers that i see are basically um, the amount that can fit on the curve and now if I actually want to fit it on the curve I go to modifiers and add a curve modifier and then again select that curve and I'll be able to see it fit the curve but that's horrible and the way I can fix that which I just recently figured out discovered after an epiphany um, and two hours of me being frustrated all I had to do was go to object data properties for the curve and just turn off the radius <laughs> for the curve deform and I found um, that to be like, like, in like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like such an easy thing, but it was so complicated to figure out because in previous versions, I believe I didn't see. Um, it wasn't. I had I had used another thing. It was like another. There wasn't like another toggle like checkbox here, and I think it was something about like fill like curve deform I don't even know what it was it was fill curve something and I checked that on and that worked but and the radius was already off on that version and so I didn't have that problem back then but <sighs> to each their own okay so now I take the flower because I noticed that it's really not um filling the curve and I just actually you know what I'm gonna do shift d to the flower escape and I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm just going to go here object um, relations make single user just materials and then I'll go here and change the color which I just copied and that's gonna change it to a different thing um, now for both of them though I'm gonna go back to modifiers and change the amount on the X to be 2 so that it's kind of like a repeating pattern and I'll do the same thing for this one all right um, but then I can't see it why because they're on top of each other see so I just move it a little bit to the right right and that's literally it yep that's pretty much it um so that's how that works that's fitting basically a mesh multiple meshes along a curve i believe that there's a different way to do this maybe like um i don't know i can't even think of a way to another way to do this but i just know there is because there must be because there's a lot of things in here like maybe if i like there's a merge i don't know there's object offset constant Maybe one day I'll figure it out, but I haven't looked into it yet. Anyway, for the backdrop, I'll do Shift A, Plane, S to Scale, G, Z to bring it down, um, Edit Mode, Edge Select, select the back edge, E, whoops, what am I doing? Okay, E to extrude, Z, um, to, uh, to extrude on the Z axis, which is the blue axis, and then S to Scale on the X, and then what I'll do is I'll take I'll go over here to my outliner and just kind of extend it a little bit to the left go here to this little thingy here and just select this on and then now I'm just going to select the plane just I guess to select it and what this does is basically when I select everything it allows me to not select um, what I you know toggled off what I disabled right um, where is the camera I can't even see the light the camera and that's it and so now I can just select everything and I just like select this right and I just do G and then Y on the Y axis to bring it a little bit backwards and um, I'll just turn on snapping over here snap to face so it snaps to the face of the thingy the backdrop so GZ to bring it upwards and now it's looking a little bit nice 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 
Um, and then maybe I'll just do myself a favor now, unselect everything, and just kind of go into edit mode, select the edge again. Oops, no. E and extrude it a little bit more. And then unselect the plane. And then G, Z to bring it a little bit kind of in the center. And then I'll just try to find a background color for it that looks good. Let me go to the dark board, which is material properties, click on new. Base color, hex, change that to that. I don't like it, it looks weird. Let me do control S to save while I find another color. Um, I don't even know, honestly. It's so hard. All right, base color, paste that in there. It just looks boring. Let me go to rendered preview. All right, so this is what it looks like in rendered preview, which is, you know, this little world icon over here. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. What if I take the light? Let me just unselect the light so I can select it, actually. Um, and then rotate it. I can't rotate it. Let me make it a sun, change the strength to three. G wide and move it a little bit backwards, kind of rotate. All right, so this is me five minutes into the future of me finishing the video. So I realized that the video kind of cut off and it wasn't showing everything, which is really weird. Um, but the essence of everything is that I was in rendered preview and all I literally did was just align the camera to the view. So I did control alt and then pad zero and that basically aligned my camera to the view. And I said, if the edit, um, if you don't, if that doesn't work, you go to edit preferences inputs and then make sure emulate numpad is on. All right, and that's over here. Edit preferences, and then you just do the jazz or whatever. To get out of that view, you click the middle mouse button, and to go back into the view, you press on zero. And then this is kind of where I left off. Um, and then the one thing I also did was just kind of rotate the sun. The sun is over here, um, and I just set it up in a way that it hits directly to the backdrop, right? So that's pretty much all there is to it. And then I just rendered the image, and it's going to take a while. Um, and that's literally it. That's the final result.